at, uh, at the risk of uh, offending the ranking member by talking about the past. Uh, <laughs> I, I, uh, I was uh, informed by a gentleman in, in, uh, in Australia a, um, a couple of months ago of a interesting film that had been created here in the United States that I did not know about. And uh, with, uh, with your permission, sir, uh, I would, uh, I, I would uh, show this short film to you. Position is absolutely granted. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> uh, this, uh, this is a confluence of divergent times and disciplines. Uh, 42 years ago, uh, Apollo 11 landed on the moon, and this image that you see in front of you shows the last three and a half minutes uh, of uh, what that trajectory looked like over the actual craters that it flew. Uh, at the uh, at the same time, uh, a new technology uh, appeared. Uh, this was Google Earth. Some of you have w observed your own house on Google Earth. Uh, there was a version of this called Google Moon, and it allowed you to uh, to investigate the moon in, uh, on your own computer and, and go where you'd like to see. A gentleman in Georgia, astronomer by trade, uh, took images from our most recent lunar exploring satellite, the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, which was launched two years ago with very good optics to completely map the surface of the moon with high quality images, with resolutions of one half to one meter. Uh, the gentleman uh, took the images from, uh, from the lunar, the LRO, the Lunar uh, Reconnaissance Observer, Observer, and patched them together using Google Moon. Google Moon allows you to uh, take a perspective uh, of, a, of the picture. This, this picture, the image in front of you, is a perspective, but all the images taken by the satellite are vertical, straight down. So Google allows you to take a, a vertical image and convert it to a perspective, as, as you see on this image. Uh, the gentleman patched together a myriad of images from different orbits of the LRO that passed over the uh, trajectory of the uh, uh, Apollo 11 descent and recreated the descent in a perspective mode. The, uh, uh, <clears throat> oh, okay. So, um, what we will, the, the actual descent was 12 and a half minutes. Uh, this is the last three and a half minutes. It starts about uh, uh, 3,000 feet in altitude and, and continues all, all the way down to the surface. Uh, let's uh, go to the next slide, please. Eagle looking great. Uh, okay. So, uh, <clears throat> on the left side of the screen, you will see the image that was taken by the 16-millimeter uh, movie camera located in a bracket in the right-hand uh, window of the Lunar Module Eagle. And it, it shows the picture that has often been used in any, anyone who made films about uh, what happened on Apollo 11 and then lunar descent. The right-hand picture is composed of images from LRO in the last two years and the recreated the descent. So you see in the right-hand side of the picture uh, an image that accurately reflects what the crew 
what we in, in the Lunar Module Eagle actually saw while we were going down. So the, the, the picture on the left is, is a rectangle uh, that's, that's skewed at 45 degrees roughly because that's the way it was mounted in the window. And it's partly blocked by structure of the Lunar Module, so it has a very limited field of view. The, picture on the right shows the same uh, uh, angu angular uh, area that covered by the mo model, I mean, excuse me, covered by the, uh, by the uh, mo motion picture on the right. So you can compare the, the uh, crater, little crater on the left to the crater on the left. Let's see. That crater is the same as this crater here. And that crater is the one that's there. And you'll be able to see those comparison craters as you, uh, as you go down the trajectory all the way to the surface. <clears throat> OK. So let's start the video. Here we go. <clears throat> we'll, you'll hear the, the uh, sounds of the, my co-pilot giving me numbers. And you'll hear ground control at Houston uh, uh, responding to our, our uh, actions. Uh, we're descending at a rate of about 3,000 feet a minute. Uh, 35 degrees. The, uh, 35 degrees. 750. We've had com uh, uh, down to 23. computer warnings uh, feet, rather frequently. The, our, but we're continuing on feet, on autopilot. The autopilot tells us that we are going 540 feet down to, to the. Uh, the, the autopilot is going to land us uh, close to the rim of that uh, large crater. I don't want to go there. It's uh, it's steep sides, and nine. we're flying over a, uh, a field of large boulders about the size of automobiles. Not a good four. place to land at all. We tried to go out about a mile further to the west and and find a smooth and level landing spot. Uh, there's more. Down three and a More half. computer Before alarms, uh, but we're getting used to those right yeah. now. On one uh, and a half down. We, uh, Seven, eight, we see a, a crater coming up uh, now on the top of the screen. It's about uh, 30 meters across, uh, about 100 feet. Down and and uh, a that's not good, but forward. there looks like some level spots beyond that that are Altitude good. Are running low on fuel because we're running. Uh, we we've extended our flight plan, our trajectory past the intended landing spot, but we still have about a minute of fuel left, and that uh, is uh, we consider that to be adequate. That's a good looking crater, and uh, and I, I want to go back there and uh, and have a look at that if I get a chance later. And in fact, I did. Uh, those the uh, landing areas. Uh, Right ahead, it looks feet, pretty good. There's little craters in there, forward. but uh, they look manageable. So uh, we're coming down low to the surface and starting to kick up a little dust at this point. You can see that in the left-hand side. But of course, the, the satellite forward. picture on the right from two years ago doesn't show blowing dust. 60 seconds. Lights on. That's, that, no, not, not, uh, down uh, two and a half. Now we're getting, getting down... Uh, very low to the surface. Forward. Dust, dust, uh, moving dust is in, increasing. Uh, Forty feet down, two and a half, picking up some dust. There, you see the shadow Three of our feet, lunar landing leg uh, in the bottom of our spacecraft, four approaching the surface. Four forward, drift into the right. And uh, down a half. It's Thirty seconds. Forward, just. Okay. Hey. Contact light. Okay, engine stop. We copy you down, Eagle. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. So Yay! Yay! <laughs> what, you, what you see here, Mr. Chairman, is uh, one of the actual vertical pictures uh, taking, uh, taken of the spot where we landed. And of course, what you see is the descent stage of, of the Eagle. It contains the rocket engine that we use for the descent, the fuel for that engine, and the landing legs and some of our scientific equipment, which we left behind on the moon. Uh, so uh, a, a view into history through the modern, the views of modern technology. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.